Welcome back to Takedown Wrestling. I'm Tony Hager, and this is a special edition as we're going into the MMA, MMA world. We've got a big uh, Bellator fight here in two weeks, and we are sitting uh, in the Nike hot seat with Ryan Couture. How are we doing this afternoon? Doing great, thanks. How about you? Not too bad. Uh, MMA world is something that I'm... I, I'm, I'm going for wrestlers. Every single time, if I know a guy's a wrestler... I'm cheering for him. And what what's your background in, in the sport of uh, folk style of freestyle wrestling? Uh, I wrestled all through uh, junior high and high school up in Washington State um, and then kind of left wrestling and athletics in general behind and, and went to college and just kind of probably enjoyed life a little too much. Um, so then uh, after I graduated, I started taking care of myself a little better and, and uh, at that time got into jujitsu and that was kind of my gateway into MMA. What what prompted you to to get back into it? Did was it somebody from the outside world that said, "Hey, you've got skills. Why are you not using them?" Um, I was just kind of working out, doing the gym thing, trying to trying to lose some of the weight I had put on during college, and uh, and uh, I was working at a bank at the time, and a customer came in that that recognized me from high school wrestling. That was. Uh, was actually one of the top guys at a competing school of, uh, against mine and, and was like, Hey man, I know you used to wrestle all the time. We're doing some grappling on the weekends over at the gold gym. You should come in uh, and get a workout in with us. And it kind of started there and then just snowballed. I fell in love with it. So you're set, you've been around the MMA world here for a while. You've got a 10 and three record, won four straight bouts, uh, undefeated at, uh, in Bellator. What are your overall thoughts about, uh, Bellator, over maybe a UFC or a, another kind of a, um, I guess, a vi- not a division, but a um, entity? Uh, I'm really, really, really happy working uh, working with Bellator. I, I feel right at home there. Everybody uh, everybody behind the scenes is fantastic, and, and, and uh, I think they're really making some great strides over the last uh, year and a half or so to, to kind of claim some more market share for themselves and, and kind of cut into that uh, stranglehold the UFC has on the MMA market. Uh, they're putting on a, lo- a lot of really fun events and, and making a lot of interesting fights, and, and it's been really cool to be a part of it. Has it kind of rejuvenated yourself since you know signing with them and, and fighting these matches? Obviously, you're undefeated, so something's, something is uh, going right for you. Yeah, I think... Uh, you know, between just feeling so comfortable and so at home uh, in the promotion and then some of the adjustments we've made at the gym, I, I feel like the the team's really dialed in. I've got great training partners and great coaches helping me get ready, and, and uh, I think we've made the, the necessary adjustments, and, and I'm firing on all cylinders right now. So it's uh, it, it feels good to have momentum on my side, and I'm looking forward to continuing that in a couple of weeks. So we're, we were set, we're set for a lightweight showdown here against uh, Patricky. Ferreri, I think I'm pronouncing that right. He's got a 14 and seven record. You got a 10 and three record. You're set to fight Derek Anderson, and this kind of wrapped this whole card around. But um, you know, when did you learn that uh, you were not going to be fighting Anderson? Uh, I found out, I think about a week and a half ago, that Anderson was hurt, and then uh, we quickly, over the next couple days from there, scrambled and, and settled on uh, on Pitbull as a replacement. So. Um, Really, uh, I mean, the two of them just fought, and, and Anderson came out on top, but it was close enough. It could have gone either way. So, you know, I feel like uh, I've got a roughly equally uh, competitive fight ahead of me, just just as tough of a guy on the other side of the cage. And, and uh, Patricky's got a fantastic following, and, and uh, there's a lot of buzz for the fight. So, if anything, it kind of raised the profile of the bout, and it's got me fired up. He's He's got a well-established name in Bellator, and I'm looking forward to it. Uh, kind of taking some of that shine for myself and, and using it to catapult myself up in the rankings. I got to imagine that you were studying that very match, and it, it's kind of nice because you're you're already studying that match and uh, or that fight, and the, the guy that you thought you were going to fight is the, the the next guy in. So what? how have you been preparing differently now here this last week for Patricky? Uh, we had to make some adjustments. Uh, so studying the fight initially, I was looking at you know what worked for Anderson, what he did well. So so some of that uh, time put in on the tape carries right over. I saw what worked for him, and it should work well for me as as well. We're we're built sort of similar. Anderson and I are both longer, taller, lightweights. Uh, Patricky's a little more compact and explosive. So I uh, just had to adjust my approach to to how to deal with the the threats that he that he presents. So. Uh, figuring out the right way to close the distance. My, my ultimate goal is always to, to fight my way into the clinch, get that takedown, and, and work my grappling game. So um, so we had to make some minor adjustments, but we didn't really have to overhaul the game plan, which was nice. 
Um, this overall card, when you look at it, I mean, what, what is the, besides your match or your fight, what is, what is the one fight that you're excited to, to see the results or that affect you going forward? Uh, I'm always stoked to see Paul Daly fight. He's, he's just such an exciting fighter. Uh, he's, he's in the main event now that Josh Koscheck got hurt and, and, uh, they lost the main event. So, uh, I think it's equally interesting, uh, co-main event getting promoted up to the top of the card and Daly's just such a, he's an interesting character. I, I like when he gets on the mic, he, he's always got something fun to say. And then he's just got dynamite in his hands and his feet. So, uh, so I'm always looking forward to seeing him get in there and, and, uh, try to hurt somebody at this point stage in your career for maybe some wrestling fans that aren't familiar with you what do you feel like is your strongest attribute in the ring you've got the wrestling the jiu-jitsu background what do you feel like what do you label yourself as uh i, I kind of think of myself as as a bit of a grinder I, I come forward i put a lot of pressure on i like to fight from that clinch and really make guys work there and then uh you know, drag them into deep waters, get them on the mat, and and I've gotten really efficient at, at taking the back and finishing that rear naked choke, which has been my my last four wins have come that way, and five of my wins overall. So that's kind of become my calling card lately. Um, but you know, I, I think the biggest thing is just keeping that pressure on guys and trying to break them. And and uh, I think that's sort of born out of that wrestler's mentality that that I that I learned growing up and and wrestling in school. And and I think it carries over and applies very well to the fight game. Well, you can catch the fight next Saturday on Spike TV. It'll be the lightweight feature bout on uh, that very uh, television show. I like it being on Spike because it's free. It's free for everybody to see. It's great for wrestling fans because not everybody, I think, in the wrestling world is is sold on it. I mean, uh, it's getting there. But being able to watch it for free is a, is a big exposure for, for the sport of wrestling. Yeah, absolutely. Spike's on, uh, on a lot of screens in a lot of households and then uh, hopefully – uh, we'll be able to get some new fans to tune in and, and see what we do and, and uh, gain an appreciation for it, start following us. Ryan, I appreciate the time here on Takedown Wrestling. We uh, look forward to uh, seeing a wrestler uh, getting, uh, getting the job done next Saturday. Thanks a lot. I appreciate that.